hi lovelies and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make a simple or the basic bodice so i'm going to be writing my measurements out now So for most of these measurements, we will have the length and the breadth or the width. That's because you need to um, draw on the um, vertical before you do the horizontal. That's the length before you do the breadth. So we're going, I'm going to start with the shoulder measurement, which is um, 13 inches. My shoulder is 13 inches, so we're going to divide that into two. And that will give us six and a half right there and then you add half inch for the hemming allowance which will give us a total of seven inches so now after drawing out the shoulders we are going to use the point where we drew out where we marked the seven inches to get the length of the arm sky that's where we are going to also draw the length of the arm sky my arm sky is eight inches so i'm going to add half inch measurement for joining at the shoulder so once i join at the shoulders my arm sky goes back to eight inches and then I make sure that it is proportionate where I have um, 7 inches at the sh uh, as my shoulder length at the top and then also 7 inches at the bottom. So we are going to have a, a square of 7 by 8 inches. So now I'm going to square across by drawing a line at the arm sky. Now the shoulder, the arm sky and the bust are linked. I use my shoulder to get my arm sky. I use my arm sky to also get my bust, my bust measurement. So I make sure that is eight and a half. Sorry, I made a mistake. Eight and a half by seven, not eight by seven. Eight and a half by seven. So now I'm done drawing the lines. So now, like I said, we we'll use the arm sky to get the bust measurement. So for the bust, I have 34 inches. We are going to divide 34 by four, which will give us eight and a half. Then we add one inch sewing allowance and then half inch hemming allowance so which is going to give us eight and a half plus one and a half that's ten inches sorry i didn't do the calculations for the shoulder and the arm sky i said divided by two plus half then arm sky eight plus half for all vertical measurements we are going to be adding half inch hemming allowance so now for the bust, I'm having 10 inches. Once you add that up, you get 10 inches. So now on this, on this line, I'm going to measure out 10 inches. I actually made a mistake of measuring out nine and a half, but I'm going to, you're going to see the correction later on. Then I draw the line to the mark. So we are done with the bust uh, measurement. So right now we we'll move to the under bust. Like I said, length you add half inch because of the joining at the shoulder. So 13 and a half 
plus half and that will give us 14 inches so we are going to measure out 14 inches from the top line the point at which you start your measurement of the shoulder is called the top line or your top line so we are going to mark 14 actually I'm supposed to be doing this length at the fold that's not where the fold is that's actually the side of the dress so this is where the fold is so these bodies I'm actually making is actually half of the front so I make sure to draw a very straight line that's where my 14 inches is so once I'm done marking that, use your lens to get your breath or to draw out your breath or width. So now for the under bust, we have 28, 28 inches as the breadth. So we're going to divide that by 4 and we're going to add 1 inch for that, 1 inch for sewing allowance and then half inch for the hemming so now this is going to give us a total of nine and a half so I'm going to measure out nine and a half inches from the mark of 14 inches I hope you guys understand these explanations if you don't understand please make use of the comment section I'll make sure to reply as soon as I can Now the reason we divide the round measurements by 4, especially bust, waist, the under bust and the hips, is because we are doing it on fold. By the time you fold your front into 2, you have 2, your back into 2, you have 2, so 2 plus 2 is 4. We are all done now with the under bust. Now, I call this my upper waist measurement or half length so to the length of this as I said earlier you add half inches so 18 and a half plus half will give us 19 so I'm going to measure 19 inches I'm so sorry I have to I turned the tape measure so you wouldn't see where I make the marks but I measured 19 oh, I actually showed you guys so I mark 19 inches for my length as I said earlier you use your length to measure out your width 28 divided by 4 plus 1 inch that one inch sewing allowance and then half inch for the hemming at the bottom so that gives us a total of nine and a half inches so i make that mark i always make sure that it is proportionate my, my 19 at the fold is equal to my 19 at the side that's why I have that mark and then I roll it out So I'm not done with my upper waist measurement so I move to my hips so the length of the hip measurement from my shoulder is 22 so I'm actually adding one inch instead of half because I'm going to join at the shoulder and since it's a body I'm going to also fold it in at the bottom so I have one inch and then my breadth divided by four plus one inch so in allowance plus half inch we're not going to do that where the hip is but if you are going to do that you need to add the half inch that allowance 
it's actually very important so it depends on what you want whether you want your darts to extend to the hip line or not so this is where you didn't get to see me measure you didn't see the measurement of the hips I measured out 22 inches and marked it make sure it then measured out my 11 inches which is a total of what I got for my round measurements in adding the sewing allowance and the hemming allowance so I also made sure that it is also 20, 22 sorry 23 inches remember my length is 22 I added one inch for joining at the shoulder allowance for joining at the shoulder and at the bottom the hemming at the bottom so it's 23 then once I made sure that's in order, I make the mark. So we are all done with the full body measurement. So now I'm going to join my boss to the under boss. So you can do this to the under bust straight up or from the bust to the half length just to get this should I call it the blouse shape and then from like what I'm doing here from the under bust straight up to the hips so it can be from bust to half length to hips so now for the curve at the arm sky, I'm going to be, I'm using freehand, so I'm going to measure out two and a half inches, two and a half inches at about an angle of 45 degrees. If you want to get it perfectly, you will need to use a protractor for this. And then once I'm done, I'm going to use freehand. You have a French curve. You can use a French curve to get out this curve. But I'm using my free hand to curve it out. It has actually been working well for me. But if you want a professional job, you need um, a protractor and a French curve. So I'm all done with that. So now for my neck, I'm going to divide. You know, we got seven inches at the beginning, so I'm going to divide it <clears throat> into two, which will give us three and a half. Now, depending on the length of your neck, if you want it short or long, I actually want it to be deep. This is called the neck deep, so I'm going to go with six inches. Now, the same way the arm sky you got the cover of the arm sky you can also do that for your neck or use your free hand to draw it out well i'm going to show you how i use my ruler to, to do that so now you know we measure three and a half at the top i make sure to mark three and a half at the bottom as well and then i said my neck is six inches so i need to make sure it is also six inches at the other side then I rule it out so like I said you can do the same thing I did for the arm sky do the two and half and then draw your curve or you use your free hand to draw it out and that's it for your neck so in my next video, I'll be showing you how I do the darts and the curve at the hip line. But right now, we're going to do the shoulder slant because your shoulders are not straight up. So at the side where your the length of arm sky is, we are going to measure 
half inch down and then we're going to draw the line from, draw this land from the top line so don't forget to watch out for my next video thanks for watching